Hi everyone, welcome to a super quick unboxing video. Uh, this of course on Astra Militarum, our Minka Less character. Now she's been released as part of a Black Library collection and I can't name any other ones that have been released but I do know they often do this type of thing. Um, and it's really cool, I, I like the fact they do this. Now what I don't like is her cost. So in the UK she costs 25 pounds which is a, a lot of money for what you get. And as I just checked my computer, um, Acadian Castellan is £22.50, a Commissar £22.50, and for example, like Sergeant Harker at £13, and Sly Marvel at £18, with interestingly, Asala Creed being £27.50. So, this is a lot of money, yeah, and you can obviously buy um, an infantry squad for the same price. Now, yeah, cost aside, um, it's still a really cool uh, model. Um, I really enjoy the books, and... This, this box itself is actually got a bit more than, than most in the sense that actually, uh, so here, so uh, Minka Lesk is available as part of the Black Library uh, Celebration 2023. Follow her rise through the ranks in the omnibus Minka Lesk, The Last White Shield, or pick up her latest adventure in the novel Shadow of the Eighth, all written by Justin D. Hill. Um, I've listened to quite a few of these and they're fantastic uh, novels. And then on the side here, um, if you can see it properly, Minka Lesk, Last White Shield of Kast Mayak. Forge in the fires of the fall of Cadia, now captain of the Cadia 101st Regiment. Her metrotic rise through the ranks of the Astra Militarum is owed to her ability to retrieve victory in the face of impossible odds, leading her fellow Cadians from the front lines in humanity's war for survival. So obviously the, the artwork proofing wasn't done well here. But um, look, like I'm, I'm, I'm getting more and more to the listen, listen to quite a few audiobooks. So I think this is quite nice. You can actually buy the model. Uh, but the key point is I think she is off sale as at tomorrow. So we've only got until... I think tomorrow is the last day you can actually buy this model. Then it'll be on eBay for like probably, you know, 50, 70 uh, pounds, etc. Now in the kit, you don't get much. Um, stand by. So you get a teeny weeny sprue, um, some instructions which you don't really need, and then um, a base. Now this base, interestingly, is obviously a heroic uh, base, and the idea is you can play her either as um, a captain, um, an officer, or just as a line trooper. So I probably just play as a line trooper because I've got so many command um you know company commander models from ninth edition lying around they don't need the one but um the instruction manual itself is pretty pretty billy basic there's not much to talk about here um you do get the two options as i said which is cool you can make it either as um a power sword and a bolt pistol wielding individual for a captain or caddy and castellan and then or just as a, as a, as a guardsman with uh, the pointing right hand and a las gun and the left hand which is quite cool because there's not many models which are left-handed right is spice of life so yeah, this is really basic, um, but uh, this, I mean, I've bought, obviously, other heroic models, and this was really quite small, uh, but it is a guardsman, so it's always going to be quite small. But fundamentally, I think um, some, some cool options, of course, is the fact that, uh, say, for example, uh, the power, uh, correction, the power sword arm is modelled so you could actually use it um, on any um any model in the sense you could use it either as um, an officer or just a, a platoon sergeant because um, I'm sure you know some of the uh, the newer caddy ones have like a bit of a larger shoulder pad so this is a nice bit of kip dash opportunity of course as, uh, as well as also um, her scabbard um, and that can be replaced with basically you see a very small bayonet pouch here which is a again it's different to what other models have now of course the actual arm uh, well to go to heads you've got one head as you can see with the um, I think it's like a radio style device, the Voxcaster, or just a bandana, so that's cool. You could use this definitely in some other Cadian ladies. Uh, always a variety of spice of life. And then, of course, is the Laz gun. So this, I'm super big fan of it because it's left-handed. And then I think, as per one of my subscribers noticed, is that this is one of the few models I've ever seen where the, the trigger finger is on the trigger guard. Now, being ex-military, this is very good discipline because uh, most models you see have their finger on the trigger. And that is real, very poor uh, trigger discipline because if you make a mistake in your trip, you're going to fire your weapon. So Minka Lesk is obviously uh, portraying some very proficient, um, strong proficiency in war fighting. Um, she does also come with a base, um, in a sense, I mean like a heroic base. Now, if I'm going to play just as a normal dude, I wonder if this will fit. But um, obviously it, it's built up. It's like a sandbag with, um, that's cool, a little Cadian skull. Uh, you can see there, and of course, um, fighting over some um, chaos-infested areas with the um, that symbol there. Uh, but look, I mean, as I say, it, this is this is really getting very poor value. Twenty-five pounds for this. Um, 
yeah, yeah. But but if you're a massive fanboy for Ash Miller time and Pure Guard like I am, I'm sure you can justify the cost. Um, but look, it, it's a cool kit. Um, I do like the fact they've done this. I think it's really nice to sort of listen to the books and then you can build the character on the tabletop and player. Um, albeit uh, at £25 or whatever the equivalent is in other currencies. But yep, hopefully um, interesting. Super quick unboxing video as I promised, uh, given there's not much to talk about here. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed it, let me know uh, in the comments or a like. Um, and if you want to support me, you can do so a like, comment, or by subscribing. Uh, joining my Patreon platoon, or simply watching about any other YouTube videos to which I cover the hobby aspect, uh, lore, and the tabletop tactics of 40k. Um, and massive thanks to my uh, current supporters. So um, keep your bayonet sharp, let's go north, faith from the Emperor Strong. Patreon platoon, sound off. Tank Commander Glenn. Tank Commander Watchdog Van Etten. Tank Commander Mitchell. Colour Sergeant Dupont, Sergeants Adal, the Colonel Merrill, Veteran Gibson, Hall, Lundine, Guardsman Beard, Coquelin, Flint, Hills, Malik, Nitin, Nguyen, Smith, Tom, Tomkin, Conscripts England, Gilliam, Goodwin.